more here instead of marching to military tombs along Queen Street. It looks like people value militarism much more than housing. I wrote this rant. I'm, a, I'm not a poet, but I write rants. After the uprising, the people's uprising at Queen's Park, some of you were there June 15th, um, two, 2000, which will go down in history. So I'm dedicating, I'm dedicating this rant, which is a shorter version of a much longer one that I wrote right after the uprising on June 15th, about eight years ago. I'm dedicating this to all brothers and sisters who are homeless, those who will be, especially in the Jane Doe's and the John Doe's. And you heard that name mentioned, I'm sure, well over a hundred and two hundred times. The title of my rant is Nameless Homeless. Nameless Homeless. I see you, I hear you on Queen and Spadina. I see you, I hear you on Queen and Dufferin. I see you, I hear you on Church of Wellesley. I see you, I hear you on Sherman and Dundas. I see you, I hear you on King and University. I see you, I hear you on Front and Young. I see you, I hear you on Parliament and Gerard. I see you, I hear you on Floor and Spadina. I see you, I hear you on Danforth and Broadview. I see you, I hear you on Bloor and Bathurst. I see you, I hear you on Young and Eglinton. I see you, I hear you on Bay and College. I see you, I hear you at Queen's Park. I see you, I hear you in Hamilton. I see you, I hear you in Ottawa. I see you, I hear you in Sudbury. I see you, I hear you in Kenora. I see you, I hear you in Thunder Bay. I see you, I hear you in Winnipeg. In Saskatoon, Red Deer, Churchill, Vancouver, I hear you, I see you in Whitehorse, in Nunavut. I see you, I hear you, nameless hell, homeless all over the fucking stolen land, where Harper and the Canadian SS sold the homelessness with final solutions, riot squads, pepper spray, tasers, tear gas, charging horses, arrests, jails, criminal records, Criminal records for demanding our right to housing. Criminal records for standing up for human rights. Criminal records for shouting no justice, no peace on Parliament Hill. Justice, justice, where the hell are you? I see you, I hear you, nameless, homeless, old men of 45 dying to live, dozing, wheezing, coughing up tubercular blood in howling windy tents under the gardener and lakeshore, mercifully found and fed by street patrol, often forced into wailing, wailing ambulances, taking fresh frozen bodies in the night to St. Michael's and St. Joseph morgues. I see you, I hear you, nameless, homeless, your wasted, lonely, burned out lives in hibernation, huddled, headless, and empty, shattered, bus shelters where Chinese cooking wine and Drano are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Remember their names. Eugene Upper, Erwin Anderson, Mursala, Aldo Company, and hundreds more, hundreds more who died on Toronto's mean street since 97 after being treated and warehoused and thousands more casualties in Canada's war against the homeless, Canada's war against the poor, Canada's war against the natives, against African Canadians, against Asian Canadians, against immigrants, against refugees, against the psychiatrists, against the disabled, against life unworthy of life. I see you. I hear you. Nameless homeless. Dying in dirty, lights-filled, overcrowded hostels and shelters where you're packed like sardines, fed TB, fear, and violence for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. While Fantino's SWAT team kicks out OCAP protesters in Doctors Hospital in 99 for daring to occupy a vacant room for you. While some of you are barred from Seton House and Street City before dying frozen again on the streets. 
for your own good, of course. Oh, Canada! I see you, I hear you, nameless, homeless, in bullet hole buses, in sardine pack stinking shelters, in violent seat house, in overcrowded Fort York, where weapons and cold killer drills take priority over homeless beds and first aid, with no hope of welfare and health care. Euphemisms for couldn't care less. I smell your despair. I see landlord developer violence in your eviction in your eyes. I see police violence at Queens Park barricades where OPT will robocop and security goons obstruct and harass us with trespass, mischief, unlawful assembly, bullshit charges for occupying your land, my land, our land. I taste guard violence and cold food thrown at you in jail, bullpens, 5251 division. I feel like throwing up. I see developer violence on our streets in heated buildings vacant for years. I see you. I hear you. Dying frozen on another park bench. Dying frozen on another iron grate or park bench like like Paul Crouch dying in a park door boarding house where proper ventilation is a luxury item during another Toronto heat wave. Don't wait for another homeless death. Over five, 500. Don't wait for another homeless inquest. Another official sham and shame. Don't wait for another whitewash and cover up. And remember Stropko Puketch pepper sprayed to death in Whitby Psychiatric by the Durham Detachment of the OPP in 95. We're going on the street, marching crowd, singing loud. We're marching crowd, singing loud in Harper's face, in McGinty's face, in Miller's face, in the RCMP's face, in Canada's face, in every goddamn face and place. We're marching crowd. Singing crowd, we're shouting loud, marching crowd, houses, not shelter, housing is the goddamn human right. We're fighting for <laughs> my website about homelessness, go to downbutnotout.centrosite.com. That's D-O-W-N-B-U-T-N-O-T-O-U-T dot S-Y-N-T-H-A-S-I-T-E dot C-O-M. Thank you for viewing this video.